Bismillah. So this lesson we're going to speak about the double letter. When we have two letters that are the same joined together. Now this joining is called Shedde. And it means to join with strength. So if we take the word Shedde, what Arabs use for the sign of Shedde is the following. It's just that part of the word Shedde, which is that. So if we want to double this letter, what we do is we add the Shedde. That's it there. Now, a point to note is that the Shedde will always have a vowel mark accompanied with it. Either the Fatha, the Dhamma, or the Kasra. So, for example, we have here three scenes with a Shedde and the three different harakat. So, as you can see, the Shedde with a Dhamma, the Shedde with a Kasra, and the Shedde with a Fatha. One point, the Kasra here is usually written under the Shedde, or it can actually be written underneath the letter itself. So the actual um, Kasra can go down here as well. But the Shedde stays there. The Shedde will never be on the bottom. Another point is the Shedde can go on any letter, except for the Hamza or the Alif. So any other letter can accept a Shedde. Now let's dissect the Shedde on top of these layers. So we said that the Shedde represents a doubling of the letter. So here, there's two scenes, because the Shedde is there. So there's one scene, followed by another scene. Now the first scene will always have a Sukun. And then the second scene will have the actual harakah. Now let's put, for example, a letter before it. Because we know that a word cannot start with a sukun. You can't have a letter with a sukun starting off a word. So let's put the ra, for example. So to pronounce this, we would say resu. Resu. Notice how I give the double letter. Resu. Resu. Now similarly, this is two scenes as well. The sukun is on the first, followed by the kesra on the second. So if you put the ra once again, it would pronounce as resi, resi. Notice how I give emphasis to the scene. There's it's the doubling of the letter, not resi, resi. And similarly, the scene with the shedda and fatha is a scene. Another scene. There's a sukun there, and there's a fatha there. So we put the ra, for example. Actually, let's change the letter. Let's put the meme. So the meme would be joined to it, and a fatha here. And I assumed that there was these were fathas as well with the with the ra as well. So that's why um, it was resi and resu. So here it's masa. This is, this is actually a verb, messe, means to touch. Now, how this verb is actually written is the following. It's a meme followed by a scene. And there's a shed there. And it's messe. So a double letter will not be represented in this way. It will be done in this particular way. With the shed there. Now, a letter that has a shed there can never start a sentence, as we said. That's why I put a letter that has a harika on it. So put those, the fathas on those. So notice I put the, the those haruf, those letters in front. Because there's no word that starts with a scene, with a, with a sukun, or any letter that has a sukun. Let's look at some words with the shadda. So here we have three words, actually four words, because iyaka actually is made up of two different words. We have a particle and a pronoun. So how do we pronounce this? Iyaka. Notice the, the ya gets a double vowel because of the the shadda there. Iyaka. Not it's not iyaka. Iyaka. 
also here al hajju it's not al hajju it's al hajju and here rabbi so it's alhamdulillah rabbil alamin there's a shadda there it's not rabbi so if I want to dissect this it would be the ra followed by two baz there's the fatha there the first ba takes a sukun and the second takes a kasra so it's rabbi so you notice actually that a shadda will always give a new syllable to the word because the new syllable starts here it's in between the first and the second letter that has the shadda so that's briefly about the shadda walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin